Hi everyone, today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. Um, it is using this new palette that I have never used before, which technically I have used because I'm filming the intro after I did the tutorial. <laughs> but anyways, this is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I picked it up at Sephora and I'm so happy that I did because I'm very impressed with it. It has really nice, cool tones, uh, including warm tones, different looks. You can do a bunch of different things with it. Um, and I also am using a new pigment that I picked up at the mall that you will see in the tutorial. So I don't want to talk too much in the intro. I just want to catch you guys up on some things. I know I haven't been here on YouTube for a while and I hate it, but I've been so busy. Um, you know, if you guys didn't watch my chit chat, get ready with me. I got an accident and I did find a car and I'm so excited. Um, I love it. It's a 2006 Chevy Malibu. It's a really nice car. I absolutely love it. Um, runs smooth and it's amazing. And yeah, so I'm going to try to get back to a regular filming and cosmetology vlogs and makeup tutorials. So please, please, please leave your requests down below because I want to do what you guys want to do because you guys watch my videos and I'm almost at 500 subscribers and that makes me so happy. It's so awesome. I get so excited. So anyways, sorry, Whew, I'm getting out of breath because I'm really excited for you guys to watch this and I'm excited to film again. So anyways, without further ado, stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so first what I'm going to be starting out with is my Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. How gorgeous! What really caught my eye were these two colors right here, Strapless and Risqué. Um, and it's a quink ink that I'm wearing a strapless shirt. <laughs> we're not quink But anyways, so I'm going to be starting out with that... Um, this palette. I haven't used it yet, so I'm super, super excited. I obviously swatched it at the store. That is why I bought it, but um, I haven't played with it yet. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to be starting out with this little round brush right here, and I'm going to be taking the shade Honey Butter. Can you see that? taking this shade called Honey Butter. And I'm just gonna be applying that kind of all over my lid and in my crease, just to make sure um, everything transitions nicely. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna be taking this shade here called Strapless. Like my top. We're gonna be taking that. And it's kind of like a cool tone, rosy color. And I'm just applying that, oh god, that's so pretty. I'm just applying that um, kind of in the same area where I placed the honey butter. And the reason why it makes it so easy to put that transition shade is because then the other shades that you put on top of it will blend a lot better. So, I'm going to flick it out just a little bit to make it super blendy. And then you build it up to the color that you want. I'm just going to build it up one more time with like one more layer. Just so you can really, really see the rosiness to the color. Now, the next color that I'm going to... Oh, it's already dirty. I mean, obviously, but... Um, the next color that I'm going to go in is Risqué. That one right there. It's a very cool toned kind of... I guess you could say like a cool tone brown. You know, let's not get too complex over here. <laughs> um, it's like a cool tone brown, kind of. And then applying that in the very, very inner crease. Now, I grabbed a more tapered, um, you know, kind of smaller brush because you're applying the product closer inside the crease. You're not going to be taking a brush like this and applying it all over the crease because then you're just going to cover up that beautiful strapless color. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that strapless color and apply it above that risque color that we just put down. Just to make sure that rosy tone stays with us. Stay with us. Okay, so now... I'm going to be taking this pigment that I bought at my mall. It is by Mika Beauty or Mika Beauty. I can't, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's Mika Beauty. And this is in the shade Earth. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Oh, God. 
This is my first time using it. I haven't even took the little shield off of it yet. All right, so I just want to swatch the pigment for you so you can see how it looks without any water or anything. I'm getting it from the cap, so it's not doing it justice at all. So this is Earth. Oh, so beautiful. And that's without any like water or fix plus or anything of that sort. So what we're gonna do is I need to find my eyeshadow brush. First of all. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I have this little concoction that I made. It is Elf Mist and Set mixed with water. I'm going to add one more layer. I guess I didn't get the brush. There you go. I didn't get the brush that wet, I don't think. Yes. There you go. Okay, I guess I just wet like, I don't know where I sprayed. It turned into like liquid amazingness. So that's how it looks. Now, now that it's drying, what I'm gonna go in with is more of the risque color, like the darker color that I had in the inner crease, and just apply that to the crease, just to darken it up a little bit, and to blend the lid color and the crease color. And then I'm gonna take more of strapless. I do a lot of blending, you guys more strapless and just add that above risque like that and then I'm going to take some of buttercream or honey buttercream am I hungry honey butter and um, take it on a clean brush and apply that to make sure everything's blended to under the brow bone because you don't want to bring all the way up to your brow bone but I do want it to look you know, seamless. So anyways, um, now we're gonna work on the lower lash line because I already have concealer, highlight, bronzer, um, contour, all that good stuff. I will do blush with you because I have a pretty blush that will go with this. That's kinda new that I've bought. All right, so we're gonna be taking a flat definer brush. I just got this from the dollar store. It was a dollar and I was just looking for a regular definer brush. It says eyeliner brush on it. I don't know what brand it is, but whatever. So anyways, so I'm going to be taking Risqué and then applying that to my lower lash line very tightly. Now remember, this brush isn't for blending, it's for placing the product. Okay, so now that you have the Risqué color on the lower lash line, you don't want to leave it harsh like it is right now. So I'm going to be taking a pencil prut, pencil brush. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush like this. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush like this. And uh, I'm going to be taking the color strapless. And just looking up and blending it out. This is another thing that you I just do really like kind of sloppily. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So now that we have the lower lash line done, I'm going to work on the brow bone and the inner corner. So what I'm gonna place on the brow bone is also gonna be a matte color. Um, this is gonna be the shade Heaven, and it's one of the highlight colors. And I'm gonna be taking like a fluffy kind of brush like this. This is by LA Colors. It looks like that. It's like a fluffy, like big eyeshadow brush compared to like the e.l.f. That's what that looks like. And yeah. So I'm going to be taking that and applying that on my brow bone, just to highlight. Okay, so now for the inner corner. I'm debating on whether I want to go matte or... I'm going to still do matte, just to kind of stay with the palette. And I'm just going to be taking the same color, Heaven, that I put on my brow bone. And I'm going to be taking a smaller, stiffer brush. And placing that in the inner corners, where the two ducks are. I'm going to use a nude eyeliner. This is 
Rimmel London Scandalize Waterproof 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 Coal Liner and this is in the shade Nude and I need to sharpen it Now I'm going to do winged eyeliner I'm so excited I haven't done winged eyeliner in forever and I'm going to be of course using my NYC liquid liner I'm going to need a close up Mia for this because if I do it far away it's going to turn out all janky and crazy Usually, um, with looks like this, I necessarily wouldn't use a liquid liner because I don't want to cover um, the glitter on the lid. But I'm just going to do a very subtle, kind of thin. <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> It'll probably end up turning out thick anyways, but we'll try to make it thin. Um, just because I don't want to cover up that pigment because the pigment's really, really... I'm going to have to show my boyfriend the pigment. I feel like that's thin enough gonna go over a little bit because this one's kind of dried out I have one already like in the package from a while back when I bought it because I need backups of this I can't like I don't like any other liner to do my winged eyeliner with all right I'm taking the thin wing I can say so do it like that let it dry and then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline master precise to do like you see how like there's like a gap from where it starts I'm just gonna get like the inner corner with this because the NYC liner I can't hold my eye like this because my contacts will get dry um, like to let the, the eyeliner dry so I just use that because it's easier so now the mission is to get this side as thin as this side let's see <sighs> okay I got it somewhat even I guess Okay, so anyways, now I am going to do the inner corner of my eyes with this. So now that we're done with the eyeliner, we're going to go on to mascara and eyelashes. Alrighty. So I'm going to be using two different mascaras, one for my top lash, one for my bottom lash, because every mascara, even waterproof mascara, transfers onto my lower lash line. So I'm going to be using um, L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara on my top lashes just a really thin coat because you don't want to do um a super thick coat when you're putting on um false lashes i'm debating whether i'm gonna wear yeah i am <laughs> i just gave myself the option to not wear false lashes i can't believe my bottom lashes with the clinique bottom lash mascara so now that i have my mascara on i'm gonna be applying false eyelashes this is completely optional Everything about this look is optional. You really don't have... Mm. Why? You really don't have to um, do this if you don't want to. But I'm going to be using the Kiss Number 11 Lashes. They're very, very wispy and pretty and thick. So that's why I like them. Hold on. This is why I'm wearing lashes. Do you see the difference? It makes such a difference. It completes the look. And that's why I love that. My camera's probably not picking it up the way I want it to, but... Okay, well. Where's my eyelash curler? Alright, so now I'm just be... Now I'm just going to be taking my um, Revlon eyelash color. Um, you can take... Whichever one you want. I'm just doing this to kind of curl the eyelashes a little more and then bind my real eyelashes with the fake ones. And yeah, so that's the final eye look with the lashes and all. Okay, now we're going to move on to blush, and the blush I am going to be using is also a matte blush. This is the Milani Powder Blush in, what is it, Romantic Rose. 
super pretty. That's how it looks. And it's a completely matte blush. Look at my eyeshadow that I got when you were with me. Do you not care? <laughs> you don't care about my eyeshadow? <laughs> okay. I'm going to line my lips. going in with Rimmel London's um, Kate Moss lipsticks and this is in number 14 this is a dupe for Velvet Teddy by Mac that's why I bought it all right guys and this is the final look guys okay I'm not sitting up like that you guys know I got clothes on why would I film naked okay I got clothes on anyways um that is the final look I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know if you like my long videos or my short videos um I would really appreciate if you guys tell me because I do talk a lot as you guys can tell I talk a bunch and I know sometimes you guys don't have time to be watching 20 minute videos or 15 minute videos so I'm gonna try to edit this down as much as I can because <laughs> I don't want this video to end up being like 25 minutes long uh, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe I love you so much you are so beautiful and you never ever ever forget it and make sure to follow me on Instagram and snapchat my name Holy will be on the end cap